to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover, it's all the way from Dan, and today I'm going to tell you guys how to start making a YouTube gaming commentary in under 10 minutes. Now what we're going to do, we're going to have three programs to download. Now the first one is MSI Afterburn, which is our video gameplay capturing program. Now Audacity is where we go and capture our sound for our commentary, and we're going to also use Windows Movie Maker. Now even though it isn't one of the best video editing programs, it's really basic, really simple, so it's good to do a tutorial one. You don't really need all Sony Vegas and After Effects for commentaries, that's only really for editors. Now what we're going to do, we're going to open up MSI Afterburner first, because that's your video capture program, that's really, really, really important. What we're going to do, you're going to see right here, we've got all these different options. This is actually a GPU overclocking tool, but we're not going to be using it for that, we're going to be using it for a video capturing, you know, video capturing purpose. So we've got all these tabs right here, general fan, we're just going to scroll over the video capture, it's on the very far right. And then right here, global video capture hotkeys, obviously you're going to bind it to whatever you want, I've got mine on num plus. Now video format, keep on MJPEG compression, that's really important, keep anything else, it just makes it look really bad. Now video quality is important as well, don't have it on 100, don't have it on 25, don't have it on 50, keep it around the 80 to 100 area. If you're lagging you can drop down maybe to 70, that would be okay, but I suggest keeping it around the 80 to 100 region, I have mine on 90. Now frame size is really important as well. Now this means if you're playing at 920 by 1080, you're going to be recording at 920 by 1080. Now I suggest everybody to keep it on full frame. Half frame looks absolutely, it just looks really, really bad. If you're lagging quite a bit, half frame will be okay. But it'll look 360p and it won't look the best until you get a better computer. I think most of you guys would be able to do it on full frame. If you have any bit of a problem, drop down your quality a tiny bit. The MJPEG compression should, you know, balance it out. Now frame rate, frame rate limit disabled, just keep it as disabled, you don't want to limit your frame rate, that's just stupid. Videos folder, just do it wherever you want to keep your captured files. Now what's really important down the bottom right here is your audio sources. So we're going to go and select none, just default it. And what we're going to do, we're going to see all these different ones. Now we've got all these direct sound capture device and playback and capture and all that. What we're going to do, we're just going to go auto select. The auto select pretty much means whatever Windows is using. So to know what Windows is using, you're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner. You can hit playback devices. And as you can see, the one that has a green tick is automatically the one that's going to be selected in this program. This is the one I'm hearing through my headphones. So obviously that's what this program is going to be using. This one is good if you're going to be doing for live commentaries, but that's not for this tutorial. We're going to forget about that for now. Now we're going to go in the second program, which is Audacity for recording our voice. So we're going to double click it, go into it, and we've got all these different tabs and stuff like that. We've got transport tracks, generating effects, and you see a lot of effects right here, and you'll be kind of freaking out. Don't freak out. We're not going to worry about that. That's not important. What's important is over the right hand side. This record button, we're not going to click it right now. We're going to go and modify some stuff just to make sure. Now over the right hand side, make sure you go and choose your microphone. You don't want to be using your webcam right here, my HD Pro webcam 7920. That's got a really, really bad microphone in it. But the C Media one for my headset is really good. So I'm going to be using that for this example. Now what we're going to do, we're going to record and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a trick. Now as you can see my bars are fairly good, you know, they get a little bit higher which is okay, but my general talking voice, it's well within the constraints of what a good commentary levels should be. Now if yours is really, really high, you're gonna, you have a bit of a problem. The way to remedy this is go down to the bottom right hand corner, click, right click that little volume, go to recording devices, and then you're going to right click your microphone, the one that has a green tick, go to properties, and then go to levels. Now as you can see, mine is on 22. Have a look at the blue bars when I set it to 100. When it's on 100, you can obviously obviously see, I have to go put it down right now because I'm recording as well with this microphone. 
We can obviously see it's very distorted, sounds really bad, and you don't want that in your commentaries. Something around 20 to 30-ish, depending on your microphone. Your microphone might be absolutely fine on 100. It might be really, really, really bad on 20 or whatever. It might be really low on 20. You just have to experiment to get it right. Keep your bars nice and equal. Lowish, it doesn't really matter how low it is because you can go and edit it later on if it is a bit too low. Rather to have it low than high, that's what I always say. So we're going to keep it on 20, That's for me, that's a really good setting, and then we're going to go and stop this recording. So I'm just going to record a little segment that I'm going to be using in my little editing thing. So I'm going to go, hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, and that was about 4 seconds worth of audio. Now what we're going to do now is render out the audio. So we're going to go File, we're going to go Export, which pretty much means Render. And we're going to go and export the file. Now we're going to just name it blah. We're going to name it blah. That sounds like a pretty good, you know, name for our file. And we're going to save it as a wave. Now wave is a really, really, really good format. You can also f do it as MP3. You've got to download a codec for that. Flack, you can't use in Windows Movie Maker. So I just, just use in wave because you don't need to download anything. It's already built in this computer. It's absolutely perfect. Don't, you know, don't be scared about this 16-bit PCM. It just means it's a certain bit rate. Don't worry about that. It's going to be good quality. It's going to sound really nice. All depending on your microphone, of course. If you have a bad microphone, it's going to be, you know, worse than a good microphone, obviously. So we're going to click OK right here, and then the audio is completely rendered out. That's really cool. Now the last bit for this commentary is how to go and put it all together. And that's why we're going to use Movie Maker for. So what we're going to do, we've got this screen right here. We're going to go click here to browse for videos and photos. And we're going to go choose our gameplay. It's a bit of combat arms, and you know, that's pretty cool. 20 seconds worth. Then we're going to go click Add Music. Now, if you're thinking, Undercover Dudes, we haven't recorded any music. We've gone and recorded a bit of, you know, commentary. It doesn't matter. It says music. It just means audio file. So we're going to go here, blah.wave, right there. Absolutely perfect. And then you've got it in this little under it, under the gameplay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to just see what would happen if you're zoomed out. Because this is what happens when you normally start out start out Windows Movie Maker. It's just going to be really zoomed out. And you're going to try to, you know, crop clips and stuff like that. And it's just not going to work out. So we're going to zoom in all the way in so we can go and crop it nicely because this program works on a basis where you know I can click you know in the middle and it'll go to the left in the middle it's gonna go to the left in the middle it's gonna go to the left you can't clap it cl um, cut it in the middle of these one of these little pictures so what you're gonna do you're gonna zoom in as far as you can and then we're gonna cut it at the closest thing to the end of your video now this may seem like a bit but literally that is half a second it's not gonna make any difference so we're going to click edit right here, we're going to click split, and we're going to delete the rest of this commentary of the gameplay actually. So there, it's all good, and we've got one little step left. We're going to hit video volume, and we're going to drop it down. We're not going to mute it, because you want to hear a bit of gun sounds. We're not going to have it maxed out, because we don't want it drowning out our voice completely. We're going to just keep it around here, and that's absolutely perfect. Now the last step is to go and render out your video. Click this little blue button and you have save movie. I've already went and made a setting, but I'll show you guys how to do it. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're going to go create custom setting. And so we're going to go and name it YouTube, whatever you want. Now make sure your width is at 1280 and your height is at, by, is at 720. You can do it by 9, 1920 by 1080 as well for 1080p, but 1280 by 720 is absolutely perfect for YouTube 720p rendering. So 1280 by 720. So we're going to go and type in 720 right here. Now bitrate, keep it at 8,000. Doesn't really matter too much. You don't want to have it at 1 or 1,000 or something like that. But, you know, keep it at 8,000. That's perfectly, perfectly fine. Frame rate, keep it at 29.97 because that's what YouTube user encodes their videos at. So audio settings, keep it at 128 kilobits. You can bump it up to 192 if you wish. It will make it a little bit better. As you can see, it's a bit of a difference in the megabyte. But, you know, honestly, it's not going to make too much of a difference for your video. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit save, we're going to go save our little template, and then it's all good. We're going to 
go close, we're gonna hit the blue button again, go to save movie, and then as you can see right here, our YouTube recent setting. We're gonna click that, we're gonna go to somewhere, my movie, I've already done this before, you know, to try it out, so I'm just gonna go and override it, and then I'm gonna go and render it, obviously, because this is 20 seconds. It takes, you know, it's fairly short, but you know, a quite a longer commentary would take a bit longer. Obviously, if it were worse computer, it's gonna take longer as well. So we're going to go play this and see how it sounds. I'm going to go, hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under. And that was... And as you can see, that is absolutely perfect. The video quality is absolutely fine. The audio quality is fine as well. As you can see, I'm going to mute it. I'm going to go full screen. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Even though it isn't full quality, it's, you know, a lot better than what I see on some YouTube commentators. You know, they have pretty bad um, gameplay, some of these guys that don't know what they're doing. Follow this tutorial and you'll get the, you know, really, really good quality, pristine quality, so people won't be complaining about your microphone, about your gameplay. Now it's just up to you. Find a commentary topic, do some reviews, do whatever, put a bit of create and be creative and make some YouTube videos. You know, if you guys followed this tutorial and you, you know, you followed all the steps and made a video, send it to me. I'll go you give you a bit of feedback if you need to go and change anything or stuff like that. But this tutorial is pretty much foolproof for anybody that wants to start YouTube in under 10 minutes. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.